championship at stake. The turn begins inside the 10. He can't stop him. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. The Hurricanes offense drops out there to open this game. Well, here we go, Kirk. The energy in this place is tremendous. We are 16 minutes away from crowning a new national champion. And think about it, Chris. These two teams have put everything into this to get to this stage and this opportunity, let's see who can handle it better. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Caught over the middle, it's Singleton. They bring him down, but he makes the four-yard line. That's a solid gain. The freshman quarterback showing what a cannon he's got. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Just trucks through the defender. They get him down, but he crosses midfield, spot the ball at the 44. Boy, this back is running very well today and living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Entering James and Frank Gore and Willis McGahee and Clinton Portis. All those guys won a lot of games and ran the ball well. And right now, they got to be loving what they're seeing from this back. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Empty set now, five wide. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up. Makes the catch for a huge gain right near the sideline. That's a big gain before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. In all of our prep work coming into this national championship, I really wondered how this secondary would hold up against this quarterback and this group of receivers. They better be ready to make some adjustments because right now, this quarterback is having his way with him. Gives it to the back. And they finally bring him down at the five. Offense really threatening now. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. To the air, it's Bradley. Looking for six. And he will score. Touchdown for the U. In a national championship game, you cannot do a better job of setting the tone immediately. Well, it's the biggest game of the year, so you've got to bring your best. On the opening drive, the offense did just that. That's how you get this thing started. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Return starts from inside the five. Physical run breaks through a tackle. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So the Florida Gators offense comes out for their first possession today. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. Quick throw to the left side. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but that's a good play. It moves the ball to the 39. The Gators will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Looking to throw it on first down. The short hands. It's Johnson. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. 
They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Looking to scramble. Trying to create outside the pocket, but they got him for a sack. Clark is still running. They'll have to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Fires it to the wide out. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. And he's got some open field ahead. Inside the 20. He takes it into the end zone, but a marker is down, so hold on here. So the pick six is wiped away by the defensive pass interference. What a huge call there and a big momentum shift. And the Gators begin a new series here, first and ten. Back to throw. It's Jenkins. The pass rush closing in. Just trying to get rid of it. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Chris, I don't know if it's the hype of the national championship, the timing between the quarterback and his receivers, but they have not been able to get anything going at all here in the first half. And the problem is, they're already down in this game. They've got to put the ball through the air and start hitting some passes, and there's no chance they come back and have a chance to win. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Nice job of this defense taking away the primary receiver, even the second and third option. But the quarterback's legs are the difference. They almost kept him short, but instead, he gets that first down. The pocket breaking down. The freshman's able to get home with a sack. That sack sets up a second down and long. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. They bring him down. It's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. throw for it on third down. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over, and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. first down. Freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there. The Hurricanes will kick this away to get the second half going. He's got it inside the 15. Oh, and he fumbled it. Oh, they keep the football. They're able to recover that fumble and avoid a costly mistake. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Oh, boy. The kick returner catches a break. His teammate was able to recognize the ball on the ground and immediately made a heads-up play to get on top of it. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll tackle him at the 27. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Short pass, finds the tight end. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. Boy, the defense missed an opportunity to here, put a lot of pressure on this offense. They allow them to convert. They could have got them the fourth down with the lead that they have. Boy, this could have been a knockout punch. Takes the handoff. It's Johnson. Solid game. Moves the ball to a 43. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. 
Gang makes it second and medium. And the fullback gets in on the action with the carry. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Looking to throw. It's Jenkins. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. Down by a touchdown late. This is a crucial fourth down play. Crucial play here. They go to the air. And he's brought down. A sack will end this drive. Huge play here by the defense. That's really good coverage downfield. And it just looked like the quarterback was waiting and waiting and waiting a little bit too long. By the time he decides to try to make a throw, nothing's open. And the result is a sack and a turnover on down. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. First set of downs for the offense. First down. Same tailback, another carry. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy, just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. There's a shot toward the end zone. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Really good job here by the defense and coverage. Did a nice job here of staying in phase with the receiver. There's no chance for a completion at all. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. First and goal. A late touchdown here would just about secure the victory. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. You just keep churning these yards out, playing with a lead here late in the football game. At the very least, you're thinking about making this a two-possession game with a field goal, but keep eating that clock. One second to go, they hand it to him again. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds in closing this game out. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A two-touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Gators offense retakes the field. Well, last time they went for it on fourth down, didn't get it, and ended up costing them six points. And they bounce back here. Here's the first play of the drive now from the 20-yard line. First down, looking to throw the ball. And the freshman able to get home with the sack. But crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Looking downfield, it's Jenkins. Bringing pressure, trying to get the throw off. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. I really thought that this matchup between this quarterback and his receivers going up against this defense in the national title would have been must-see TV. But 
man, this defense. They have won that battle the entire game and they enjoy a nice lead because of that. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Down late will keep the offense on the field trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down looking to throw for it. Running out of time in the pocket. Nowhere to go and the ball is knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. Well, already playing with the lead here in the national championship, this defense is opportunistic. Eyes on the football, running to the ball, good team pursuit. When that ball hits the ground, they jump on top of it for a critical turnover. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Defense can't do much here. The offense can just kneel down and walk out of here with a W. Got a lane. Can he get in? Touchdown, Kings. Still no answer for this offensive machine. And now they'll set up for the play after. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Offense moving to a bunch formation. First and ten, they'll look to throw it. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better. But it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. offense you don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20 how much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down and the clock winding down they'll take a deep shot and it's incomplete with just two seconds remaining how about the defense today they have played so well i think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan his kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long with the return it's booker he goes out of bounds with no time left, and we have a national champion. That's it. It's official. We have our national champions. Well, this head coach told us we've prepared well. We're ready. I'd be shocked if we didn't go out and play well. And he had a good read on his team. That's a big win. This team was incredibly well prepared and schematically liked a lot of the things they did to counter how the defense was attacking them. Sometimes games can be won and lost thanks to a good game plan, and we saw how it made a big difference today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.